In this video, I want to talk to you about the differences in the Janome HD 3000 and the Janome HD 5000. We have gotten thousands of requests over the years just to give an idea of what are the differences in them because these machines do look similar. But as you'll see in this video, there's a lot of differences that you should consider when purchasing a machine. The HD 3000 and the HD 5000 both are very good choices. So let's take a look at them. Okay, here on my right I have the HD 3000 and on the left we have the HD 5000. We have them available and in stock both in the black version and the white version. Uh, the only difference, when you look at HD 3000, the only difference is going to be the color. Uh, you may see a difference on our website as far as the bonus kits are included with each one of them. But these machines are going to have 18 stitches built in. We can adjust our width and the length on the sewing patterns. They both will have the extra high lift on the presser foot needle thread. There's no difference in them other than the color. Same thing with the HD 5000 here on my left. The only difference we're going to find will be the color of them. So I'm going to actually zoom in on the 3000 and the 5000 and point out the differences in them to show you and talk to you about them. But feel free to give us a call anytime if you have questions on anything about these machines. The main thing is we want to find the machine that's right for you. If you're looking for a good quality mechanical sewing machine that can handle sewing uh, quite a variety of materials from garment grade leather, heavy denim, cottons, even down to lightweight material, the HD 3000 or the HD 5000 are machines I definitely would take a look at. These machines do look very similar, but there are quite a few differences in them that does separate them. So it's worth considering and taking a look at and see which one of these is right for you. And by all means, feel free to give us a call anytime, drop us an email. We'll be glad to help you. We do have blown up pictures on the website that give you more details on these. But quickly, we're gonna tell you the differences in them because I've gotten thousands of requests over the past couple of years about these two machines and what are the differences because they look identical. The HD 3000 and the 5000 are going to be equal quality. There's no difference there whatsoever. They do have an energy efficient half amp motor that's built in that can handle sewing easily. Eight layers of denim, garment grade leather with no problem whatsoever. The feed dog system that's built in on these machines can definitely handle. This has a seven point feed dog system built in. They will have 18 of the most popular stitches that's built in. And we can adjust the width and the length on all the sewing patterns on these machines. Though they do have the same number of stitches built in, there are some differences here. The HD 3000 has more decorative stitches built in. If you look right here, our scallop stitches, decorative stitches, we have two more on it than what the 5000 does. But however, the 5000 will have more utility stitches built in. It, we removed two of the decorative stitches off this model and you do get the overcast stitch and the smocking stitch built in on this particular machine. That's gonna be the first major difference. Second major difference, the HD 3000, on your stitch width, we can regulate the stitch width here. It goes up to six and a half millimeters on all of our uh, decorative and our zigzag stitch. On the 5000, we can go up to seven millimeters on the stitch width. That's your second major difference. Third major difference, when we pull up the stitch on the machine, we can easily see there's a little orange indicator in front of our stitch. As I move my dial over, I know exactly what stitch that I have it on. And at that point, I can get the stitch width and length set however I want to. If you'll notice on the 5000, there's a little bit more color here. And built in, when I go to change my stitch from straight stitch, we'll move over to a zigzag. If you'll notice, our placard here changes. There's quite a few differences. It gives me suggested tension settings, suggested width settings, length settings, and also above every stitch, it will recommend the presser foot for the type of stitch that you're doing. All the Janome presser feet have letters indented into them, so I know exactly that I've got the correct foot on the machine. Now, both machines, there are tons of optional accessories available. Ken Sewing Center carries everything that's made for both of these machines. We have four full-time technicians at our store that can help you with any kind of troubleshooting questions. We have other salespeople and educators that can help you even use a presser foot no matter where you're located at, recommend the correct, accessory for what you're doing and glad to help you anytime. Feel free to take a look at the website. We do have more Im images there, more information, but by all means feel free to call us anytime with any kind of questions or drop us an email.